Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Carpenter with Ready Let Media. I'm a photographer and a videographer based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, fake the effect of a headlight being on in an image when it wasn't actually on when you took the picture, uh, much like this image here. Uh, it's really easy, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select my brush tool. Just click on B. Uh, I want the opacity and the flow of my brush to be at 100% and I want to make sure the hardness is at zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size by clicking the right bracket to make it larger and I'm going to center it on the light and just go ahead and click. So that's first things first. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, create a hue and saturation layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select colorize and because, the reason I'm going to do that is because if you just change the hue, it's going to change everything but the light. So we want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to colorize that. And what that does is that creates just a blanket color for the entire image. To, uh, to get rid of that, we're going to create a clipping mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt or Option and click right above the image you, or the layer you painted on, uh, just below the hue and saturation layer, and go ahead and click. What that does is that makes the hue and saturation only affect the layer below it, uh, which is what we want to do so that way we don't have that whole like blanket effect over the whole image and every layer below. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hue up to probably about like 50 or so. Uh, and it's kind of a ballpark just depending on the color temperature that you want the light to be. Uh, bring the saturation up to about 50. And we'll go ahead and bring the lightness down just a little bit. Um, obviously that looks a little funky right there. It just kind of looks flat and not quite right. So in order to fix that, we're going to change the blending mode of the painted layer from normal to linear dodge add. So obviously that makes it kind of pinpoints the light a little more in the, in the center of the headlight, gives it some more, uh, more oomphs. Um, next thing you want to do is just, and you can kind of play with the hue and saturation, you know, you can, you know, make it darker, lighter. Uh, with the lightness and the saturation if you want. Uh, it's just that's all personal preference. So um, I'll kind of keep it where I have it and I'll just lower the fill of the uh, painted layer just down a little bit. I just don't want it to have too much effect on the image. I don't want it to take, a, you know, take the viewers, you know, eyes away from the subject itself. This is just supposed to kind of make the whole image look a little more realistic. Um, so that's pretty much it to make the headlight. So what we'll do is we'll group that together. We'll call that headlight. Um, and then in order to create these uh, side lights, do the same thing, create a layer. I already know I'm gonna have to put it on linear dodge add. I already know that I'm gonna need a hue and saturation. I'm gonna create the clipping mask, colorize it. For this one, I wanna keep it more, a little closer to the red and orange and not uh, quite so high into the yellows because this is an orange light and I want it to kind of stay true to that. So, and I guess I could always go ahead and actually paint the light, so, <laughs> and do that. All right, so that pretty much just, you know, looks on as compared to the other one. So we'll go ahead and group these, call this left light. And in order to create the right, uh, light on the right, just go ahead and copy that entire group, grab your pointer, and just drag it over. And just center it to where you want it to be. And we'll go ahead and call that right light. And that's that. Simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at ReadyLightMedia to kind of keep up with all of the uh, all my latest work. All right, have a great day.